welcome back family welcome back we are back here right back here on this couch my big comfy couch here at cena's dolls and who you all are looking at and the camera view are the newest additions to the nursery here at cena's dolls and these are the gianna and julia sculpts and they were sculpted by Chenza Dolls. And they were painted by Deborah Miller at Always Precious and Tiny Rebarns. And I wanted to bring them back on because I wanted to do a, a detailed video of these cuties. But before I get started, I want to thank all of my subscribers. Thank you so very much for subscribing welcome all my new subscribers here to the big comfy couch with all seen of those and i want to thank my day ones who've been there who's still here and have great support has supported me supported our channel it's just really awesome that you're still here and also everyone in, in between thank you so very much appreciate and love you all i do want to thank you all for the great comments i had on their box opening video very very show you guys show so much love that's what i'm trying to say so much love so much support and um thank you so very much for being so welcoming to these um precious babies and just very supportive whether you know it's your cup of tea or not you guys still were very 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 supportive and i appreciate you all I appreciate and love you all yes sure do so now i want to show you all some details about these two now if you guys have not seen their box opening go check it out it's the video right before this one and um i did explain in that video their rare condition they have a very rare condition called facial duplication. And um, they represent a very, very just small population of people who were born this way. So, yeah. So, I wanted to actually bring them on and show you all their body. Just in case if you're wondering what body it was that they had on when I when these babies first came out I was kind of confused as to what type of body they had and some people probably are too so I'm just going to show you let me I found oh yeah I found these pacifiers for them this one is is not cut right for her mouth so I would have to cut her her one but um and she has the open mouth and then Gianna. So I think this one is Gianna. If not, I'm just going to name her Gianna. I'm going to keep that name Gianna. And then for Julia, I think this is Julia if I'm not, if I'm correct. Um, I'm going to name her Juliana. So Gianna and Juliana. So that's going to be the names that I choose for them. Gianna's this one, the closed eyes. And then Juliana is the one, the open eyes. So, yes, that's their name. The sculpt name is Gianna and Julia. So, all right. So, let's see here. I'm going to, um, first, I'm going to take off this romper. And I already took off the, the bonnet. Now, this romper, I'm going to put back on them. Um, because it's so cute. I love them in this, um. I love them in this romper. So let me take Julian. Oh, not Juliana. Gianna's pacifier. So I'm going to keep them in this romper for a few days. Um, I mean, uh, I cannot stand the buttons. <laughs> buttons on clothing. But I'm um, going to take this off. Yeah, I'm going to put this romper right back on now. They're gonna have this on for a few. I want to see them in this romper for um, for a longer period of time. So 
they're not going to get like a new outfit change or anything like that. Just wanted to show you all some of their details. Okay, so this is a onesie, sleeveless onesie that I put on them. I'm going to take this off. And this is a three-month size. That romper dress, I think, may be a zero to three months as well. well it's not a romper dress, just a romper. <laughs> I think that's a three-month size, a zero to three. This onesie is a, th a zero to three. So I wanted to make sure it was big enough to fit over both heads, this neck part. So that way, I didn't have any problems with that. So as you guys see, this is a regular so suede body it has the stitched chest so they share the same body it's not like um whereas some twins that are conjoined twins they have um they split the body their bodies are split half and half but it looks like they share the same body they just have it's just two different two different heads. So it's a stitched chest, full legs, and then has the stitch bum. And then and I'll show you the back of their head. The back of the head here. You see how she did the hair painting, which is really nice. The names are on the back. It says Gianna and Julia by Chenza Dolls. Oh, Chenza Care. Vincentia care. <laughs> I'm pronouncing that right. And then look at the back of the head. So their head is definitely doubled. Um, is bigger than the average head. And it's because it's two heads. And start right here. She has the um, rooted lashes. She has the rooted lashes. And um, she has, both of them has these chunky cheeks. Look how chunky these cheeks are. She has her pretty like gloss lips. And then the tip of her um, lip here is colored a little lighter, which is uh, very realistic to me. She has um, the um, lightly painted eyebrows to make to match her hair look at those chunky cheeks look at that chin look how the chin is sculpted it's sculpted to have a double chin you see how it has she has like a double chin right here that double chin look at that the sculpting is just amazing and she like sculpted these dolls by hand the artist painted so beautifully. Look at this hair. For someone to actually sculpt these by hand, it's just amazing. Let me keep her right quick on this, on this side. Look at this arm here. Check out this elbow. The artist put blushing on the elbow. And look how this hand is sculpted, like curved, like curled. Curled like this. And she has very, very long fingers. She sculpted it with long fingers. Let me see if I can get that in there. See those fingers? And her artist took her time to detail the fingernail. She has the half moons on the top. And then it's lightly tipped for realism. Let me see. I don't know if you guys can see that, but lightly tipped for realism. Um... The sculpting of this arm is just amazing. Look at the rows. Look at the rows. And it just goes up like that. And um, while we're on this side, look at the knees. The curled up legs. There's, um, look how the feet is curved in. And then um, when I turn her around, you guys can see she has, this leg has um, rows. Look at these little baby fat rows here. How adorable. Then on this side, look at her. This is the open eyes, the Julia. I'm going to name her Juliana. The head is pretty heavy. Okay, so she on this side has the open eyes. Now, she did have applied lashes. 
but during the travel, her lashes um, that she had on looked like they were coming off. So I don't know that could have something could have been happened during the shipping and things like that. They were like coming off. I just took them off. I think that they look better without applied lashes. Now later, if I want to get her eyelashes rooted, I can I can do that. But for right now, I don't think she needs those lashes. It, it was just annoying. So they were like coming off right here, like coming down over, over her eyes. So I just peeled them off. They came off real easy. But look at those beautiful glass eyes. They're like a dark blue. Let me see, like blue grayish, blue grayish type of eyes. They're nice, great quality eyes, and I didn't want the lashes to cover, be covering those up. So I just took them off. She has lightly painted eyebrows on this, on her um, eyes, eyebrows as well, lightly painted. And then this is her chubby cheeks and her double chin. Look at her double chin. You can see both of their double chins. Then they have a little neck part down here. Little part for the neck. And then in her mouth, you can see a tongue. You can see the top part, roof of her mouth in there. And then you can see how her lip is painted. And then the top part, this middle part of her lip is also a little lighter for realism. You see that? Look at this, just beautiful sculpting here and painting. This is the nose. And in the middle part, this is the part where they're connected here. Look like it's a little dimple. Looks like a dimple here that she um, created. Isn't that nice? And then the arm and her arm is stretched out. Now look at this elbow. This is one of the most realistic elbows I've seen. I haven't seen... Um, a doll sculpted with an elbow that looks like this that is so realistic and then the arm has the little um rose on the arms and look at this hand so expressive look at how this pinky is sticking up here and her knuckles and then you can see her nails her nail beds her artist took her time you can tell that her artist um deborah she really took her time on the painting of this baby. And then this is the knees and legs. And she has a mottling. She's textured really nice. She's textured really nice. She has, she took, she took the time and detailed her, um, put details on her toenails, on their toenails. Like she, the sculpting and the, um, the sculpting artist and the artist that painted them both did an awesome job. And I, I just feel so lucky to have to have them, like seriously. <laughs> so I wanted to show you all their details. Look at this, look at their arms. This, this one just stretched out like, uh, just let me show you on this side. Look how she just stretched like, uh, just stretch, morning stretch, morning stretch. <laughs> And this one over here is like, I am still asleep. Do not wake me. Cover my eyes. <laughs> They're precious. So I'm going to put them on this, this cloth diaper right here. And I'm going to put this wafer. They smell like baby. But I'm also going to put this wafer inside this cloth part here. You can just drop it here. And it stays and it doesn't have to touch their cloth. The wafer doesn't because it's inside in between that cloth diaper. So yep, yeah, this is how they look. They have the curled up legs. I love curled up legs, so precious. And they're weighted perfectly. Look, look how their, their head just fall back. Look at that. Let me turn her right here, you guys can see. Her head just fall back just like this. Just, let me see. They just fall back. Like this, hold it one hand, and you can see how they're, they're so floppy. So, yes, this is them. This is them. So, I'm gonna put them on this peach colored cloth nappy. <laughs> yes, 
and um, put them on the little t-shirt. I'm not gonna, yeah, first I was gonna say I wasn't gonna put them back on their um, romper in this video, but I might as well, because I wanted to show you all the little shoes I had for them. So, this is so adorable. So, let me see. Okay, so I'm just trying to see if I needed to readjust this, this um, little diaper here. I think it'd be all right. Maybe a little big. Let's put it on like that. All right, so. A little t-shirt on. I do want to get pictures of them with just their little t-shirt on. So I'll probably um, stop the camera to do that. Stop the video to take their little pictures with their little um, cloth diaper and t-shirt on. Yep, that's what I think I'm going to do. How cute. And then I wanted to show you all too this um, these hair hair bands. How I'm going to put these hair bands on both heads, so both of them can have one in like a hair bow. So let's see. So the this pink one can go here. So it's gonna go over both heads, of course. So it has to be big enough to stretch over both both babies' heads. So then I wanted to show on her hair. If I put her hair bow over here for it to show there. And then this one can show over here on hers. So I think this is how it can go. Let me see. Let's see. So this will be hers, and then this will be hers. Let me put it down like this. Her hair bow, and then hers. I think that's how it could go. Oops, got some falling off. <laughs> and this is the one that actually came with the um came with them out of their um box opening. This one here. I feel cute. I feel cute. Yes, I think this works better like that. All right, so I think this is going to be it. Then I have these little shoes here. These little pink shoes that's gonna go with the romper. I think I'm gonna put these on them because they have they have some good size feet, you all. They have some nice size feet, not good size, nice size feet. And the sculpting on this feet is kind of hard for me to show you. It's so realistic. They have a little ankles. They have ankles that are sculpted into the to the um, baby. The little feet, the little toes. It looks really, really nice. Very realistic. Very, very realistic. Okay, so that's what I have for you all today. I wanted to just show you these. Precious babies. I'm going to take them pictures in just their little um, diaper here and their onesie with their little hair bows. And I have to get going. I have a um, we have a birthday party to go to today. And um, but yeah, I wanted to bring them on and show you some details of how amazing these babies are. And let you know that I'm going to keep Gianna's name and then Julie. Julia's name, but it's going to be Juliana. So, Gianna and Juliana's names. Show, um, tell you their, their names. And show you a detailed video of them. Alright, you all. This is the end of, of the video. And like always, stay blessed because you are. 
be safe out there and we will be back for another video